Welcome to West 10 Media Signing Day coverage. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Now check out the next athlete, student athlete, that's going to secure their future. Hi, it's Thomas L. Jr. here with another signing day. Ms. Shea, you're heading off to Dyersburg. Congratulations. How does it feel? And why did you choose Dyersburg? It feels amazing, and I chose Dodgeville yeah, because it was the best fit for me. Like, we're I went down there to the land and uh, practiced with the yeah. team, and Which I really didn't feel like I was going to Okay, this past season, you had a few schools, colleges looking at you because you had a wonderful season, and you helped the Lady Cougars win a championship. First, talk about winning that district championship, beating Covington, and having that, that magical moment, similar like your dad with his teams back in the 90s here at Monk. Well, that feeling was amazing. I mean, losing to them all season and then losing to them last year and all season this year. So it was just, it was amazing. It was like, I saw the championship last year and this year. A sweet way to finish. <laughs> so, but talk about that legacy with your fellow seniors, you know. Miss Hunt, Miss Cooper, all y'all, you know, um, Harley, all of y'all came together with that mission. Coach Point that's a challenge y'all before the season started. Did y'all come together as a senior group and say, hey, we got to do this, or did y'all just kind of let it flow? How, how, did, how did it proceed? I mean, yeah, we had our moments where we was really like, we was just sitting down and like talking to each other. We got to lock in and do what we need to do with help of the uh, lower class. And like, yeah, we really talked about it. We knew that we had to take care of business, so it was just something that we all knew that we needed to do. Taking care of business. Your junior, you play, really, you played for two years, organized ball. Your junior year, big body, you developing, and you getting better and better. But then your senior year, we saw the hard work that you put in in the whole season. Was it in the driveway with Dad, or was it Coach Pondex? What, what got you so good? Uh, it was, it was both. It was both. Uh, Dad and uh, Coach Pondex was a very big part in my development, and I just wanted to make my dad proud. Wow. I know that means a lot to you because you know you carry on knowledge. I ain't but his legacy over here at Montford. You were at Millington. We'd be kind of quiet over there. You know, <laughs> the rivals down the road. But you came up here and you took on that legacy challenge as well. See his banner hang up there and that, you know, the Hardaway, the Peets and all that. How does it feel knowing that, hey, you earned yourself a banner up there too? It feels amazing. Very amazing. Well, speaking of that, your dad shares that sentiment with you. When I talked to him earlier today, he said he, he's accomplished a lot in this gym and with the Cougars and everything. But he said his greatest basketball accomplishment was you. How does that feel? That makes me feel, that makes me feel wonderful. I just love the fact that I can like know that I made him proud at the end of the day. But it's still room to make him even more proud. Because at the Diasburg, what do you want to, what's your next step? Uh, hoping to get picked up in a four year and continue and earn a degree of a nurse. Well, I'm going to put it out here so people can watch this in two years on YouTube. I think she can be at the University of Memphis. I think you have that type of talent that you can play high level division one. Do you, do, you think I'm do you think I'm crazy or, or could you make that come to fruition? I mean, I'm working hard towards that goal and that accomplishment. Okay, so I shouldn't be too surprised if I get a phone call from you in a couple of years that you head to like a UAB or, you know, uh, Middle Tennessee or something like that. I shouldn't be surprised. Okay, I'm going to hold you to that. And, uh, and then Mr. Elliot, I'm sure he's going to make sure when you, that off season, when you back home, I'll be in that driveway. He helped me with that drop step even more. <laughs> but Miss Shea, you definitely lived up to your name. You're, you're good. So, so, so congratulations. I'm getting off the dice.